are many ways to beat Fallout 4 and many unique builds you can make with the items available to you, but what if you couldn't use items at all and had to beat the game without them? Can you beat Fallout 4 without items? Now first let me explain how this challenge works. I'm allowed to pick up any item I want, excluding trinkets, however I can't use any item in a way that affects the combat, health, or stats of my character. As an example, if a raider dies and I pick up a stim pack, I'm allowed to carry that stim pack for as long as I want, or sell it, but I can't use it to heal myself. I can also buy junk using caps, but I'm not allowed to use doctors or build rad scrubbers. Alright, good? Let's roll. With the introduction done, it was time for me to get past my first major obstacle. The roaches. Now, even with no armor or weapons, anyone could beat the roaches easily. The problem is, I have a vault suit on, which I can't remove without the pit boy. Therefore, if I took damage now, it would technically be a fail run. My solution was to retreat back and kill them on the generators, and power punch those who got through. So after committing King Ferdinand on the Raiders, I was faced with my next big challenger, the Death Claw. This part was somewhat hard, but fortunately I had a plan for it. Hide inside a building and take pot shots at him while he tried baiting me into running out. After a while he ran away and it gave me the perfect opportunity to drag some delicious raider corpses into the house so I could snack on them while fighting. This fight took me a while, but I eventually got him. Someone in this town did more. Here's your headline. Local man says no. Gonna be like that. <laughs> Let me eat this. Do you 
much this is gonna set me back. <laughs> Way. My job. Metal detector. Ten. No. Hey, Valentine. Hold your horses. Maybe we can re again. will be transported to a salt desert dimension. Gwyneth, get the scent, boy. He's in here! Please! The decoy. I told you I'm with them. You're with them. Mm -hmm. up some more, I came across my next big challenger. Dance. Evading my Now Dance himself is friendly, and I even did his quest for experience. The problem is, Dance is on the side of the Brotherhood, and seeing as to how I can't eat sense, I was planning on siding with the Institute. The reason this is a problem is because if Dan survives and you side with the Institute, he shows up in the final fight against you. So my plan was to do his quest and then kill him here, but... So after murdering Kellogg and eating his Frosted Flakes, which was surprisingly easy, Red October arrived, I load scum for XP, flopped Finn, had a boring memory section, and I was on my way to the next challenge, the Glowing Sea. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking. Okay.
three. Stop right there, stranger. The <laughs> Ooh, just short. Who the hell? I am a monument. I got dead. Sign me up then. Perfect. This is my pile of garbage. You have a goddamn garbage account? So I managed to complete the railroad mission despite reality I falling mean, apart due to the vast amounts of space these fallout clips uh, take uh, up, but nice. it only got worse than that. <laughs> so I did some odd jobs to load scum oh, for experience. Dr. Crocker. <laughs> Expertly avoided super mutants on a rescue mission for Hopper from a bug's life. And of course, at a time like this, my mortal enemies had to attack. I had to kill them though. It would go against my morals had I not. I managed to level up again doing the next quest, which just involved a simple escort and a few hundred game crashes. Then I bought a bunch of junk to spam and I was finally at level 27. I could get level 2 of solar power, which would cure my radiation. After that, I was off to face off against my next foe, the Courser. You're going to kill me, then do it. I don't know what to say. Oh, lunch, you're so funny. Agreement. I've helped. That the Commonwealth. Okay. After giving the crayon drawings to Tomcat, I set out for the ingredients, but unfortunately, reality was opening portals in space-time due to the lack of storage space, and Fallout began slowing down and crashing left and right. This isn't the end of my journey, however, but I am going to have to call this one a two-parter. Who will I side with? Will I even beat this challenge? Did I already technically fail it? The only way to find out is to stay tuned to the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z.